Hi, welcome back to Sunshine and Strings. I'm Sydney, and today I'm going to show you how to make this shaped jack o' lantern friendship bracelet for Halloween. So, this bracelet actually is shaped, so it's made up of little squares like these ones, and they have little uh, pumpkin jack o' lantern faces in them. So, I'm going to be showing you how to make um, the square shape and how to follow the pattern of this bracelet. So you're going to need orange and black strings obviously um, and yeah so I have a clipboard and I just used some clear packing tape and taped the strings down to the back. You're going to want to leave about six inches of string hanging off so that you can make twisted ties. I use this clear packing tape and then you're going to want to cut 10 strings of orange and 10 of black and make them about three feet each. Now let's get started. So here's the pattern and I've separated the black and the orange onto opposite sides. You're going to start by making a forward knot. So you make a four and you pull the black string through and pull it tight all the way up. We're starting the top of the triangle right here. So you're just going to make one forward knot just like that and then you're gonna leave the string that you just made the knot with you're gonna leave it out and you're gonna take another string and make another forward knot by making a four and pulling the string through the middle just like that and as you can see the part of the pattern we're making is circled so I'm making this top part right now and you're just gonna keep making forward knots all along with all of the black string and you're just gonna leave out the string that you have already knotted with. So what we're doing is we're bringing each string out individually so that we can make the triangle um, shape at the top of the bracelet. So I'm just gonna continue making forward knots by making a four shape and pulling it all the way through. Here I'm finishing it up and here's what it looks like. I have brought in each string out individually so they're all kind of lined up now and we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side but with the orange. And this time you're actually gonna make backward knots so you're gonna make a backwards four and pull it through and up and another backwards four and pull it up so this is the same thing but in reverse on the other side again leaving that string out and then making more backward knots backwards four and up and you're just gonna leave out all the strings and keep doing it to bring out each orange string individually and what we're doing right now is we've just created one side and we're creating the other side of the triangle at the top of this first um, pumpkin. So yeah, we're just going to keep making backward knots with the orange to bring all the strings out individually. And there you have it. I have created the two um, triangle pieces at the top of the bracelet. See, each string has been pulled out individually. So we have the black on the left and the orange on the right. This is what it looks like. It's kind of hard to tell with the black because all of the knots look the same because it's dark. But yeah, so now we're gonna start on our first black jack-o'-lantern. So you're gonna take your first black string and you're going to make forward knots on this orange string. So you make a four and pull it through and up. A four pull the string through and then pull it tight up to the top. And what we're gonna do now is the pattern shows that you're just going to make one row of backward, I mean one row of forward knots, forward knots, all the way along the orange strings. That's the first row. Now, if you look at the pattern, the second row says to make four forward knots with the black string onto the orange string. So I'm gonna make four forward knots so one and then the next one two just making fours and pulling it through and then the third forward knot just like this and the fourth one so in this pattern the arrows that are pointing down to the right are forward knots and the ones pointing down to the left are backward so now we're gonna do the orange string, you're going to take it and make a backwards knot over the black string. So you're just making a backwards four 
and pulling it through. So instead of making it an alpha bracelet style where you have to switch colors, you're actually just using the two colors and knotting it on top of each other. So I have just made the first backward knot and now I'm making another backward knot with the orange to complete the two backward knots needed to make the start of the eye for the jack-o'-lantern. And now we're just going to make forward knots with the black on the rest of the orange strings to finish off the second row. So it's pretty simple. It's a lot easier than making alpha bracelets because you're actually just using all of the strings and you don't have to worry about color switches and um, straight edge techniques or anything. You're just making forward and backward knots with these two colors the whole way through. So we just finished the second row and I'm just gonna separate out the strings again. And this is what it looks like so far. As you can see, it's a little start of the eyeball. And now I'm gonna finish up doing some of the other rows. Here I am on the fifth row, I believe. And I'm gonna make one forward knot with the black and then one backward knot with the orange string. And this is making the mouth of the jack-o'-lantern. And then I'm gonna make two forward knots with the black string onto the orange. Just making a four and pulling it up. I'm going a bit faster here, but don't worry, just follow the pattern, forward backward knots, and you'll be great. So after the two forward knots with the black, we're going to do two backward knots with the orange. See, this is a lot easier than alpha bracelets because you don't have to like worry about switching colors and everything. It's just all right there and it's super easy. After the two backward knots of the orange, you do one forward knot with the black. And after that forward knot, you're going to do two more backward knots with the orange string. Pretty simple. We just made some of the mouth, some of the nose, and some of the second eye. And after you're done with those two backward knots, you're going to do one last forward knot with the black to finish off the fifth row of this little square. I'm just going to finish this up here and here we go. I have finished the pattern and now we are going to do the triangle ends on the other side. So I took my second string and I'm making backward knots with the orange over the first string. And these two are gonna become one string now. I'm gonna take the next one and do backward knots over both of those two strings, making sure I'm pulling them tight so I'm bringing all the strings down back towards the center. So I'm gonna make a backward knot and pull it all the way up. I just made backward knots around the three other strings. So you're making knots around them. So instead of taking strings out this time, you are basically just bringing them together and knotting them together to bring them all towards the middle. So as you can see, the clump of strings on the left side is growing bigger as I'm adding a string in each time. I'm just going to keep making backward knots to add the strings in. And you're going to do this all the way down the orange side. And then same thing but reverse with the black strings on the other side. The pattern does not say to do this. As you can see, I have circled basically where we are. But this is how you make the triangle ends for the to make it um, the square shape. So... Yeah, it's a little confusing because the pattern does not say to do this, but this is how you make it. And now you're going to do forward knots with the black strings to bring them towards the middle. Again, this time you're not leaving strings out, you're bringing them in. So you're making knots over a whole bunch of strings at a time. And we're almost done here making forward knots and pulling them tight. You wanna pull them tight so that they stay closer to the um, square of the bracelet and they're not 
like loose you want them nice and tight so we just finished the first um, black jack-o-lantern shape you're gonna do the same thing for the orange just in reverse colors this is the finished product and you can find it on my Etsy thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed bye